Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Lightyear Frontier, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide. And we are working on gathering those sweet resources. It is night. Everything appears watered and planted, so let's go. All right. And shine, Exo Farmer. Let's build something jaw-dropping today. Jaw-dropping. Like inspire us while we do a hard day's work. Yep, drop the jaw. Hard day's work. Uh-oh, noxious bubbles. Okay, so if the noxious bubbles are coming, then one thing we can do um, is... Well, unfortunately... Uh, I need to get more water. I don't have a lot. One thing we can do is just vacuum all of our crops that we can so that they don't get injured by this. But... Oh, God. Oh, no. We're going to lose some stuff, people. We got to get what we can. All right. I'm going to go try and get some water, but this is why it is always wise to uh, fill up your tank before sleep time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay, so they're, quote, done, but... We still have a bunch of garbage to clean up. And any crops under this have been wrecked. Luckily, we got most of it. So... They can kill your crops... What I like to do is save the ones I can and do the very best and then repair. Fix it, get rid of this garbage. Now the upside is, even though we did lose some stuff here, this gives us Noxious Spore, which um, we can use, or it gives us Slime, which we can refine. Now, sadly, it, I think, only gives you that if you pop them in the air to get the Noxious Pod, but, you know. Oh, fiddle D. It was under the bush, so it wasn't... I wasn't getting credit for that. But that's okay. There we go. All right. Well, speak of the spores. All right, so let's get rid of these. So I just decided to make a bunch more noxious spores. I like to, uh, as far as I know, there is no use for the pods themselves, so you always want to have them turned into spore. All right. Now we just need to do regular farming, which we don't have enough water for, but we can pretend. Okay. 
So let's get the seeds out. What do we want? We a little bit of everything, right? Zapper twigs in the ground. Ravage. There it goes. How about some carrot? You know it. Oop. Yep. Wait, nope. Good. Great. Um, let me get the chromes. I don't have that much. I should buy some from her. It's a good idea. All right, let's get the wheat in. Here. Lady. All right. Well, uh, we can sell. Do we have anything cool? No. How much are you selling these chromate seeds for? A good amount. I don't have the money. Uh, you took all my money. All right, do I have anything I could sell you, though? I mean, I could just sell, you know, random stuff to make money. It's not the end of the world. I could sell, like, berries, for example. Make money. I'd like to get a full patch of chromes. I bet I have just the thing you need. So we can just go ahead and sell her Polyberry, right? And if I sell her like, you know, you drive a hard 30, we make a ton like of money. It. Good. And everything else we'll just try to gather naturally. Come back whenever you like. Including Zapper Twig. We're fine. There we go. Oh dear. Okay, I actually didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to get the weed. And <laughs> that's a funny example. So, I should have just used the vacuum to get the weed. Instead, what I did was chop everything down. However, the game was kind and understood that I was being dumb and uh, decided to give me my seeds back. So we had to reset their status, but it's at least not the complete end of the world. All right. All right. Oop, let's go over this way. All the slimes off my ranch. That feels better. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now let's see what upgrades we could do. We took care of a terrible situation, but we were able to replant everything, 
even get some crow maze. And as far as gathering, um, we need some aluminum electronics. Nah, that's, we're not there yet for that. But this is what we need, aluminum electronics to get that going. Anything else that I can just produce right now? This I should be able to make with a power core. And then we need some more carrot oil. Okay, let's see about that. Aluminum electronics, carrot oil, and a power core. All right, so let's go to the assembler, check on the power core. Yep, we got it. Aluminum electronics. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And carrot oil, how are we doing? Wonderful. That's how we're doing. Perfect. All right. Let's go here and put in as many of these upgrades as we can. All right, so I'm going to go for uh, Spike Saw Power. This will get us stronger materials, like iron, I believe. And Thruster Boost just lets us thrust longer. And we need a bunch of carrot oil for sprint speed, but we're trying our best to make some. Okay, wonderful. They want us to use the paint gun to paint a mech. Did I make any paint yet? This is my... Uh, flower press so we can make some blue paint yellow paint red paint whatever we want and what do I need for this guy right here some more hardwood and red crystal dust okay no problem mix the colors that lets us mix them all right do you have by any chance um, oh I have the white paint on me okay well one thing we can do, although I'm going to wait until the next day. Okay. And... Let's do some exploring today. Who knows what we'll find out there. Chromaze oil, sure. Rabbage oil. There it is. Alright, how's the crops doing? Pretty good. I'm going to get out of the mech. And I'm going to switch over to my paint gun by pushing left on the directional pad. And then we can just aim this. Now we have to choose which ammo. So you can push right to choose. But all we have is white. Um, and you see when you aim it, you can get a preview of the color. And if you like it, just shoot it. Oop. Okay. So I had enough to paint it, you know, mostly white. And then I can run over here. Woo! Okay. Okay. Here, let me let me get this in the mech. All right, we got a bunch of paint in there, and then uh, I could switch over to my paint gun, and I've got red, but I also have blue. So just for fun. Now, you see how you can give your mech highlights. So with left trigger, I'm painting the whole thing, the primary blue. But then if I hit left trigger again, I get like these highlights that I can paint blue. If that's applicable. Looks good, huh? No ammo. We can make that arm entirely red, just for no good reason. All right, that's fun. Okay. So now look at our mech. We've redesigned it, looking great. Okay, so we've done the painting. We need to restore the mountainside coast, the lowland plains, and the radio tower. Now, whenever you need to restore anything, the limitations are only going to be your vacuum and your 
hydro. So your irrigation hose and your vacuum harvester are what you need to top off for that. Level up, I should say. All right, so go ahead and get that. Just going to do a little watering. Before we go out into the great beyond. Look at all that boost I've got. One of the things I really enjoy about this game is when you boost anything, you really feel it. If you boost your booster, oh boy, you're going to be boosting. Ooh, if you boost your speed, you are much faster. It's awesome. And did you get watered? Oh, you're watered now. Okay. So now I'm going to switch over to this and I'm going to look at the map. So we cleared the yellow forest, but we couldn't gather a lot of the stuff. So let's go back there. Let's see if our new saw can help us. Zapper twig. Okay. Now I don't have the food for those guys. Sorry. Let's go this way. There's some zapper twigs back there if we really wanted, but this is a good amount. Mm-hmm. Now this is what I want to test out. How do we do over here? iron so you see we can now make a house iron bars iron electronic iron frame iron parts and bam blue crystal we can now get everything over here tremendous Wow, we didn't fall. I'm so impressed by that. Okay. I'm going to go check on the radio tower again and remind myself, what is it that we need? Uh, copper ore and hardwood. Okay. Actually, both of those things are pretty easy for us to get.
So even though we go into the lowland plains, no, this is still mountainside. Co uh, or it always is mountainside coast. But anyway, I'm going to go up here and uh, drop off the hardwood. All right, so now it's just copper ore. And copper ore is easiest to find over at the edge cliffs. We can't clear this yet. Let me just go mark this. Okay. I might have a bunch back at the base, actually. Wow, that was a sweet bounce. I need to empty a bunch of my inventory. Ooh. Oh, what is this? Just some regular lumber? Okay. I built one. Watch out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in this paint, iron. This box is full. Oh, this box is getting full too. Got to make a new box. Later, we can get some incredible storage solutions. We just don't have them right now. Okay. Good. Now let me put away that, that, yes. There we go. Much better. Okay, so I'm going to uh, make blue crystal dust in both. Get that going. And then we can, uh, can we make a smelter? Oh, okay, we can make a silo, which is actually a better resource. Yes, we can. Here we go. Here's a smelter, or a furnace. Let me get that programmed in so we can start making iron bars. Um... We need clay. Okay. Well, clay is pretty easy. We just have to have stone dust. And then we go to the assembler. And make clay out of stone dust. And stone dust, well, we saw where you make that. We had just enough. And let's go ahead and start making some iron bars. Oops. As many as you can. Wonderful. Got a little bit more hardwood for that. Red crystal dust is what it needs. No problem. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Hey, hope you're well this fine morning. Perhaps we can find some use for that new building you made yesterday. Would be a shame to just leave it hanging. It would be a shame. You'd better not do that. Okay. So, I've made a bunch of blue crystal dust. It's raining, which is unreal. So we can just kind of pull this in. Gather. Uh-huh.
Wonderful. Alright. Let me get a bunch of zapper twigs in. And then it's all Karoot. And Chromaze and Ravage. Great. I guess I'll do a little Polyberry. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. So at this point, we've got Iron Bars coming in. And there we go. So now we can make a barn, for example. A bunch of really, really cool stuff. But what we want to do is go here to the Upgrade Depot and check out we obviously still need a lot of that, but we need to go here for the vacuum. And this is what we need, so I'm going to pin this. We need blue lenses, steel electronics, and batteries. And then we also need... Stronger slime. Oops. There. Alright. So... How much copper do I have in the boxes? Did I turn it all into... It looks like I did. No problem. All right. First things first. I'm going to get a little coal and a, some red crystal. There we go. 17 coal seems pretty good. I'm going to curl back around up to get the red crystal. Look at all these Ravage Seeds. Honestly, I could safely ignore these. You can pick them up if you want money or you want more Ravage, but we have enough Ravage and Ravage Seeds that I'm fine. So we haven't been back here to get Red Crystal in so long that it's basically all repopped. Uh, let me get some softwood. And it's not like you need a million of these things, so this will probably be enough red crystal to last us for quite a while, which is great. Go back around this way. I'm going to hit this red crystal, then drop down, try to pick up the rest of the coal. There we go. I need a little hardwood for one of my stations, too. Hopefully that's enough. I'm over encumbered. It's going to be okay. I mean, I think... Oh, 
All right, so let's add the hardwood to this guy. And then we need red crystal dust. Can I make anything else while we're here? Ah, we can make blue glass, sure. We can also make steel bars just out of iron and coal. Get a little blue glass going. And we're going to queue up red crystal dust. Perfect. All right, fantastic. Let me go over here. We need carrot oil. We need carrot oil. And we'll take the rest in ravage oil. Wonderful. All right, fantastic. So we fought off some pods badly and we have painted our mech we've upgraded our um, spike saw so that we can gather iron and blue crystal we're harvesting all of that we put in a bunch of upgrades and we're doing beautifully everyone i hope you're still finding this guide series to be useful and fun i'll check you in the next one thanks for watching take care